up, you guys? It's your favorite sports reporter here, Willin, here to give you guys the news of today. Before we get on to the news, guys, I would like to ask you guys, can you guys please like and subscribe to this video? That would mean so much to me if you guys do that. First news of today, the Oakland Raiders have fired their head coach, Jack Del Rio, after a disappointing season this year, which they end up going 6-10. I mean, I understand it was a pretty down year for them. They had high expectations of last year in the offseason, but they didn't really live up to it. But, I mean, we shouldn't have fought, blamed the coach, Jack Del Rio. I mean, Jack Del Rio, he did everything he possibly could to get this team to the playoffs. It just, they just didn't clutch up like they were supposed to. I mean, this was a year they had the be they had a franchise quarterback finally they, that, that they actually trusted. They had a pretty good offense and a pretty good defense. And the only reason I thought they fired Jack Del Rio is because they know they got a pretty good chance of getting John Gruden. John Gruden is one of the best at his job right now as ESPN analyst. He's one of the favorite guys I love watching. I love how he's just passionate about the game, how he like to teach the young rookie quarterbacks before they get into the league, how this should be thrown, how that should be thrown, testing them out, seeing if they can become successful. I love what John Gruden do. And if he becomes a coach for the Oakland Raiders, that would be amazing too because – he didn't never want to leave Oakland Raiders back in 2001. He never wanted to go. They sort of forced him out, traded him to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we see what he did with that team. Like, John Gruen's a pretty good coach, and I think uh, he could take this team all the way. And also, I'm hearing they're trying to give him a little a little thing in the ownership deal, man. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a, a pretty great offer, if you ask me. John Gruen controlling coaching staff controlling everything, see how it run, like coaches, head coaches. Because they might not even put him as a coach. They might just put him, like, somewhere on top of the, like, on the owner field, like the GM, sort of like that. So he can control the staff, control the player, see what player he want, what player he don't want. Let him could take control of the draft because he know how to win games. He is a winner. And I, I just think, like, it, it's, like, a great opportunity for him. I feel sorry for Jack Del Rio because Jack Del Rio is a good coach. And I believe if they gave him one more year, he'll take that team to the playoffs. But he didn't show up this year, and that's just how NFL goes, man. Like, they'll forget everything that you did last year. And they say, look at this year, you did terrible, and they'll just go with somebody else. That's just how, they, that's just how it goes in the NFL. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys think about John Gruen, like, if he joins the Oakland Raiders, like, can he really turn his team around? And let me know how y'all felt how the Oakland Raiders did Jack Del Rio. And you guys know I got to hit you with more sports news. Saquon Barkley has decided to skip his senior year in college and enter into the NFL draft. Barkley's decision comes a day after he rushed for 137 yards and two touchdowns in the Fiesta Bowl. In his whole season this year in college as his junior year, he rushed for over 1,200 yards and 18 touchdowns. I mean, that was incredible, man. Mel Kuyper... And uh, Todd McShay got him as number one on the big boards right now. He's one. He's looking like one of the nicest prospects they have in the draft so far. After deciding that he would enter the NFL draft, he said to Penn State he hoped he left a good mark for them. He understands that he couldn't get in a national championship like he wanted or break all the rushing records, but he still left his good mark. I believe, like he won a Fiesta Bowl. Like he was a big part of that offense. He won against a very good defense, too. Like, he did pretty darn good. I like this kid. I want to see what this kid can do in the future. I believe he could do great things. I hope he's, like, literally, like, one of the next elusive backs in the game. We do got a lot, but I just hope he just breaks away with it, man. I really got high hopes for this kid, man. Really high hopes. And you guys know I got more news here. Shout out to the Buffalo Bills for ending their 17-year playoff drought, winning 22-16 over the Miami Dolphins. And give it and, and you Bills, you give a big shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals for winning 31 and 27 over the Ravens, kicking the Ravens out the playoff berth and putting the Bills in. Man, I'm so happy for the Bills, man. They've been bad for since ever, man. Ever since I was born, they've been bad. I never seen them go to the playoffs, honestly. I never did. But I'm glad they finally did, man. It's lit for them. And the Buffalo Bills earned the number six seed in the playoffs. And they will travel next week and play the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I hear they got some little beef going on with the head coach because, uh, you know, the head coach of the Jaguars used to coach the head coach used to be the head coach for the Buffalo Bills, Doug Marone, and it's gonna be his first game back since resigning since December thirty first, twenty fourteen. Like guys, oh, this is gonna be a nice game, man. I'm I'm gonna be so happy to see this one. 
And I mean, man, the Buffalo Bills are living it up, man. They're sending tweets out to the Bengals. Letter, love letters. I mean, they're happy the Bengals beat the Ravens. A lot of people are happy. I was surprised when the Bengals beat the Ravens because I didn't think that was going to happen. But anyway, you guys, I think that's just so good for the whole Bills community. Like, they just had so many sorry seasons, and now they finally get a good breakthrough right here. Hopefully, they'll do something with it. I don't think they're going to do nothing against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but we'll see. I ain't going to say who's going to win. I just got a feeling I know who's going to win, but it's football, man. We never know who's going to win. So let's see who going to – tell me what you guys think, man. Do you guys think the Buffalo Bills are going to win or do you guys think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And last in the news, the Browns go 0-16 and to end the season. They are the second team since Detroit Lions to do this. You guys, the Browns are in terrible need of a change-up. Coaching staff, GM, all of that. The Browns are terrible. They need. I hear they're getting talks and like trying to get Peyton Manning to be something on that team, but I really don't know what so, too far yet. I don't know what he's going to be, but they're really trying to get him. But anyway, like, guys, the Browns are pathetic, man. I'm seeing in the draft, like, some quarterbacks don't even want to get taken by them. They might get taken later in the draft, what I'm hearing. Like, that's just sources telling me. I don't I don't know if it's true or not because a lot, a lot of quarterbacks I'm seeing, man, if they go to the Browns, like we all know, they got the number one pick in the draft, and they and if they end up picking a quarterback in that number one pick, I mean, good luck, quarterback, whoever you're gonna be, cause they suck at blocking. Their offense is pretty terrible. They really don't have any big time wide receivers you could throw to or tight ends. They don't even have a pretty good running back. I mean, they don't have nothing. They have nothing for a young quarterback to start from. And that's why I think like a quarterback would just be doomed for failure if he go to the Cleveland Cleveland Browns. Like, I see it happening, you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I literally see this, like, whoever it be, man. I don't care whatever quarterback. It could be Baker Mayfield. It could be Josh Rosen. Like, it could be any one of them. And they will not do good, you guys. I'm telling you. They will fail miserably because the, the Browns just don't have nobody. And I just go, I'm going to pray for whoever the Browns draft. I hope, I hope they know what they're doing, man. But anyways, you guys, that's all the news that we have for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, what you think about any of these stories. And make sure you please like that video and please subscribe. It's your boy Will Land, and I'm out.